Welcome back to Reimagine 2020. I'm Yona Hockhauser, and this is the Word on the Block, powered by Multi.io. NFTs. What the hell are they? Well, they're non-fungible tokens, of course. These are the tokens that operate on a blockchain and are commonly used to represent unique items in a network rather than shares of a network. This unique part is what makes them non-fungible, meaning they aren't interchangeable with one another, but each is special in its own very special way. Maybe that's why my mother always called me NFT growing up, or maybe that was her just telling me to never fucking talk. Either way, NFTs enable its owners to prove that what they are holding is a unique item and potentially scarce, which would theoretically give it value in the network. So who is using NFTs today? Well, for now, it's mostly used to track assets in games on Ethereum. But NFTs could also be used to represent digital and fiscal art, legal contracts, academic credentials, domain names, and event tickets. In this video, I'm going to break down some of the best projects with a protocol token that works with NFTs in the Ethereum ecosystem. Saving money is usually pretty boring. You put the money away to collect interest and you wait for a long time. Avagache aims to change all that. Avagache is an NFT-based blockchain game that combines DeFi with gaming. Sounds like fun, kids. The game is powered by the Aave Lending Protocol A tokens which represents a stake in the lending pools that gain interest. Now, instead of just idly watching those A tokens gain interest, players can now deposit them into the game to create Avagachi avatars. Now, Avagachi avatars are based off of the Japanese digital pet game Tamagachi, which are unique characters in the game that have special powers and attributes based on their staked DeFi assets. Now, investors and players can use their Avagachi avatars to explore and live in the Avagachi realm with other players where they can battle and compete. It's a really interesting idea that ties DeFi together with gaming for the first time to create a fun way of saving money. Rarible is an NFT marketplace for digital artwork that allows artists to upload and sell an image in the form of a JPEG, PNG, or GIF, which will then be deployed as a unique NFT on the Ethereum blockchain. Artists can also add a royalty fee that automatically credits the artist anytime the NFT token is traded in the Rarible Marketplace, ensuring that artists are properly compensated for their art. The Rarible Marketplace has already amassed $1.2 million in volume, half of that only in the last 30 days, signaling that the platform is finally getting some real recognition. Decentraland is a blockchain recreation of the hugely successful game Second Life. It is a virtual world in which all of the game's items exist on the Ethereum blockchain as NFTs. The game features a complete digital realm where players and gamers can purchase and build on plots of land. The player's avatars can also buy wearables and attend ticketed events, which are all represented by unique NFTs that can be exchanged between the players. Players can even design their own landscapes, wearables, and custom items using the decentralized builder SDK. Decentraland features one of the most extensive NFT libraries on the Ethereum blockchain, and just like in real life, I don't have enough money to afford to buy anything. As you can see, the main use cases so far for NFTs is in gaming and limited edition crypto art. While crypto art projects are cool, it's such a new niche market that it's unclear whether they're just a fad or actually a permanent fixture of the blockchain experience. Gaming, on the other hand, will always have a large and dedicated fan base but the protocols must prove that their in-game NFT economy can bring values to the players and, more importantly, their own project's token model. But NFTs have the potential for so much more, and I'm excited to see what wacky and food-themed use cases the cryptosphere can cook up in the future. Do you own any NFTs? Let us know in the comments below. For Reimagine 2020, I'm Yona Hockhauser. Make sure to check back here for all the latest blockchain news, interviews, and more. And that was your word on the block.